Hello guys, my name is Kaushik and welcome back to Lit Code. In our previous video, we discussed about the Winstant logger. In this video, we are going to learn one more logger that is from Playwright itself. So Playwright logger is a very simple concept, uh, but I think it has different uh, use case. For example, uh, let's say that this is the code, very simple code. So let's get into this. So here I have written the same without fixture. I'm going to show you how to write and with fixture, I will show you later on. Okay. So here we have this very uh, very beginning of our tutorial the entire playlist i have started to write like this before the playwright test and i write the same code here also so chromium.launch and within the launch option we are going to say logger and here we have a uh, property called disable which needs uh, boolean as a true okay so false means it won't log anything true means it will log and then we have this callback function log where we can get like name, severity, message, and the arguments. Okay. So I have logged everything so that you can see it. Okay. Now, here what I'm doing is using the browser object, I'm creating the context, and using the context, I'm creating a new page. And then I'm going to this particular website called litcode.in slash elements. And here I'm going to type click on the search button. Let's see what happens. So here, this is my URL. Let me refresh this. And if I go and inspect, and here in the console you can see that uh, as of now we have like uh, two warnings and then if i click on the search button without any data it's going to give me like 404 exception okay error message basically right so we are going to print that but if i use this console uh, like this logger from the playwright actually it is not going to do i'm not sure but i think it's a different one for example let me show you i'm going to bring up my terminal and i'm going to say npm test let's see what happens and by the way in the playwright config file i have already given the spec name that is playwright dot playwright logger dot test dot yes okay now here you can see that uh, basically we are getting some different informations like it says like uh, we are getting like browser type dot launch that is chromium dot launch and it launch succeed and then it's it's like uh, go to this go to start it go to succeed so basically it's trying to give us the logs from the playwright api so here you can see name equal to api right so it's giving us the logs from the playwright api not from the browser okay but what we expected is basically to get the error console message right why because like whenever we go to developer and we say like we have done some click action but nothing is performed immediately developer will ask us to see the console the network tab and will ask like what is the error message right so how to get the error message in the runtime during automation in playwright it's very simple okay i will show you that but before that just in case if you don't want to use like this the logger here and if you want to use it from the fixture we can do that very easily so here i'm going to call my page from the fixture and then go to the config file and within the use i have to say uh, logger sorry launch option and then we have to say yeah and here also we'll get this name and severity so i'm going to give it here and it should return me the true okay and here we can also get like here we are passing like name severity message and arguments right so i'm just going to copy and make a change here and here we are printing only the name and severity that is fine you got the idea right but unfortunately this will not work let me run and show you so if i go to my terminal and let's run this again unfortunately it will not run because it is a bug in playwright i found it today so i found it in the sense like there is already a report on this they have fixed it but still there is no official release um, so we can expect this to be work on the next version so let me show you the documentation or the error message here right so here someone called um, some name okay sorry i'm not able to pronounce it so they have so he has uh, like logged and here you can see that a fix user log from config if, if specified so we have the error fix but unfortunately it was fixed 10, 10 days ago and here the last release is 20 days ago so i think in the next release we can expect this to be working okay so i'm going to leave this as it is now uh, maybe once we got another version we can check this okay so anyways that one fine but we are not going to make use of this logger what we want is to get the error message from the console right so for that uh, we are going to use this page dot on so if you remember already we have used this page dot on right so to handle the 
alerts like the dialogue so now we are going to use this console and here it's going to give me some message let's try to print that and let's see what happens okay so here i'm going to say console.log and i'm going to print the entire message let's see what happens so i'm going to run this test again hopefully it should run okay so it ran successfully and here you can see we are getting this error message apart from that also we are getting the warning message so if i open my console you can see we got two warnings right that is also coming here but i'm not interested on the warning i just wanted to print the error message so here i can write a conditional statement so i can say like if message dot um, type equals equals error then i will say like console dot log uh, message dot text okay so text is function that is going to give me this text alone and type you can see we have a lot of types like log debug info error warning and few other things so based on your requirement you can use it okay that's it very simple it will run for sure now the question is what if i move to some another page will it still work it should work let's check that okay so i'm going to say await um, page dot go to and i'll just go to some random website like let's see like amazon.in slash maybe like this and it will give us error message i believe let's go to here and you can see we are getting some 500 error right so i'm going to copy that and give it here let's see okay okay so now it's moved to the amazon page as well and here also you can see that we are getting so uh, page dot on is basically it's kind of like listener until the page object is there definitely it will uh, receive all the logs okay now if you want to store this as a file of course you can combine this with a winstant so for example here i can say like const uh, logs console logs console logs and that's going to be array and whenever we get the this error right so what we can do is we can just push it in the console logs so just a simple array concept nothing much here okay and then at the end of the script we will just write the logs to the uh winston logger okay so we can do something like this that's it okay so it's very simple and clean and that's it that's it for this video you'll see in another video okay so um that's it let me know how you are going to make use of this in your framework and uh, that's it for this video See in the next one. Tata bye bye. Take care. It takes a lot of time to research and make videos. If you like the videos, just give me a thumbs up. That's pretty much enough. Okay. Bye bye. Take care.